A few days ago, the utility company began publishing advertisements that disconnected customers would have to pay a six-month security deposit before their electricity can be reconnected. This created some amount of panic among consumers and was deemed unreasonable since, from all indications, some could not even pay their bill for one month, let alone finding monies to pay for six months. At a recent media conference, Chief Executive Officer Acting Colin Welch told reporters that the six-month pay policy is one that is long-standing. I started back with the amendment in 2010, and it's been a practice of GPL over time to simply remind the public that there is an obligation for energy use. Welch explained, though, that this is just a reminder and as it is now, the six-month security deposit is not being imposed on customers. Uh, our practice has been to charge the consumers in the event of electricity theft and uh, new customers a three-month uh, deposit fee. That's been the practice. But the policy still exists around six months. It is a widespread view that the policy, if fully implemented, might lead to the power company incurring further losses, since more and more persons who cannot afford to pay their bills might resort to stealing electricity. This is Welch's position on the matter. Separate from an individual's personal circumstances, energy consumed is energy consumed, and a responsibility to pay that energy consumed still exists. Now, I will tell you that perhaps we can be a bit more sensitive in terms of when we publish that information, but it does not devoid the fact that energy consumed and the, and the public bear the responsibility to pay for that responsibility. Under the law, GPL is allowed in its sole discretion to require a postpaid customer who was disconnected to pay a security deposit greater than $20,000 or up to six months of the company's estimate of the average monthly charges for any two-month period.